It tastes like Orville Redenbacher fornicated with an M&M, &M, and they had a little baby. You could easily make this cake in a gas station in their microwave next to the cheese pump. You can probably do this thing in a mini Instapot. Sorority dorm room edition. This is a good no-bake cake for a child that might be a pyromaniac, when you want to kind of suppress it and keep it down. This cake is like eating the thing spilled off the floor at a children's summer fat camp in the movie theater. One time my aunt brought us a popcorn cake that was made with Lifesavers. Lifesavers buttered popcorn. Perfect combination right there. Popcorn, Lifesavers. Seems like a perfect mixture, I think. That doesn't go very well. This is actually one of those projects where it's best to have the shittiest microwave you can possibly get, like a Daiwoo 700 watt microwave that people get like for their kids when they go out to college, put in the dorm room, looks like pink kitty, you know, kind of pink, kind of small, looks like a shoebox, 700 water, has trouble. Because if you go longer than the amount that says on the box of the popcorn, you're fine. Like in my microwave, if I go five seconds over the amount, it turns into cremated popcorn. Your teeth start falling out as you're eating the cake. Gummy bears, Red Hots, Jolly Ranchers, M&Ms, Skittles, Roots, Nerds, Sour Patch Kids, Jujubes, Milk Duds. You can put whatever candy you want in this dang thing. I'm gonna get on my root canal reindeer. After you get finished making this cake, you're gonna feel like you got finished giving a hand job to the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. You can put about any kind of candy you want in this thing. I just chose M&M's and Reese's because they kind of go together. Watching, munching, munchkin with a sweet tooth. 